Hey guys and thank you so much for joining me in this video. Today I'm going to be comparing three of the most beautiful Chanel eyeshadow quads and from left to right these are number 316 Cristal du Printemps and this is part of last year's Le Blanc makeup collection released by Chanel. The next eyeshadow quad is part of this year's Le Blanc makeup collection and this is 356 Ufi de Fleur and I did a full review of this makeup collection on my channel and the last eyeshadow quad is one of my all-time favorites and this is 228 Tissé Cambon and today I'm going to be swatching this eyeshadow palettes for you and luckily we have amazing weather in Milan so the weather is very sunny and I'm going to be able to give you swatches in natural light so that you can really see how the colors look without the fancy lighting. I'm very close to the window, so all the light that comes is natural. But before I start, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so that you can receive a notification every time when I upload a new video. I really appreciate your support so much and let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, I'm going to start with 316, which was released with last year's Le Blanc makeup collection. And let's take a quick look at the two palettes and see how they compare with each other. As you can see, 316 is a lot paler than this year's palette, which is 356. So I'm going to do the swatches starting from top to bottom, from left to right. And 316 is a very girly, beautiful palette for the spring season, but it's also quite pale. The pink colors here are quite pale. So the first swatch, the first color is the deep plum shade, which is really dark. And the second color is a light medium pink with frosted finish. Next comes a even lighter pink with frosted finish. And then the last color, is the highlighting color, which is a pale peach color with pearly sheen. So the pale peach color is the most shimmery, but once applied on the eyelids, it doesn't appear as shimmery. Now here, the issue that you might have with this eyeshadow palette is if you have deeper skin tone, you have to use a dense brush to apply the colors or you have to use your fingertip. I love this eyeshadow palette, but the colors here appear quite sheer, so you really have to use a very dense brush and pat the color into place or you have to use your fingertips if you really want the color to show up and to be mm, closer to what you are seeing in the pan. And next comes 356 and this is the eyeshadow palette that comes with this year's Le Blanc makeup collection and I know that I probably should have swatched this one first because this whole comparison video is because of this palette but anyways now we are swatching it. I have a full review of this palette and the whole collection so I'm going to have a link in the description box in case you're interested. So as you can see in this palette the pinkish and the purplish colors are a lot more pigmented and they have a little bit of purple undertone. So this is 316 and this is 356. So I wanted to do the swatches next to each other so that you can see the difference. And as you can see in last year's eyeshadow palette, the colors are a lot more sheer and a lot paler than this year. And this year's palette, the colors are a little bit more vibrant and I think that both palettes are very very beautiful as you can see in this year's palette the darkest color is more vibrant purple kind of aubergine color and in 356 all colors have satin finish they don't have frosty finish and last comes 228 Tissé Cambon and this is my second Tissé Cambon palette because I already repurchased this one because this is one of my favorite palettes from Chanel. And the first color is very interesting. Chanel described the first color as iridescent mauve color and it has a sparkling finish. I think it's very suitable also for evening for special occasions. Next comes a pale pink color which appears more white and doesn't have a lot of shimmer in it. Next comes a vibrant pink color and the last color is a medium dark aubergine color which doesn't have shimmer. It is almost matte. So first you can see 316, next comes 356 
and the last swatches are 2 to 8 Tissé Cambon. And I want to show you all of the swatches so that you can compare and decide which palette works best for you. I think that all three palettes are very beautiful, so it all depends on you. The palest palette is 316. All palettes are very easy to wear. The quality as to be expected from Chanel is very high. The only issue that you might have is with 316 because the colors are quite sheer and not everybody likes this, this kind of sheer colors. So now I'm changing, changing the angle so that you can see how the colors look in different angle, but still this is natural light and the weather outside is sunny. I'm just changing the angle so that the light can hit in a different angle the colors. And now I want to show you swatches from the three palest shades in each palette and I want to swatch them next to each other so that you can see what is the difference because they are quite different. And on my index finger is 316 on my middle finger is 356 and on my ring finger is 228. I'm going to swatch them now next to each other. This is 316, which is last year's LeBlanc collection. Next comes 356 and the last one is 228. Now, as you can see, in this year's LeBlanc collection, the highlighting color, color is quite interesting. It has that pinkish and purple hue and it doesn't appear white, it doesn't appear like a highlighting color. And once you apply it on your eyelids, it looks more pinkish and a little bit purplish. It's a very interesting color. And 316, the left color, is quite frosty and sparkly. And the last one, 228 Tissé Cambon, is the most subtle color. Now I want to do the same thing with the darkest colors in the palettes so that you can see how they look applied next to each other. And the first color is 316, second color is from 356, and the third color is 228 Tissé Cambon. As you can see, the most vibrant purple color is from this year's LeBlanc Makeup Collection 356. It appears the most vibrant. And as I'm swatching the colors, you can probably see that the 316 last year's LeBlanc Makeup Collection and the palette from this year's LeBlanc Makeup Collection, the colors apply very smoothly and they blend very easily, whereas Tissé Cambon doesn't blend as effortlessly. The formulation of the eyeshadows used to be a little bit different and Chanel have changed the formulation of their eyeshadows and as you can see the eyeshadow palettes from this year's LeBlanc makeup collection and last year's LeBlanc makeup collection appear to be a lot more pigmented and a lot softer than Tissé Cambon. However, Tissé Cambon is one of the best eyeshadow palettes that I have and I don't have any issues applying it. Just the formulation has improved a little bit. Okay guys, so that was all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and the palettes that I showed you today were 316, 356 and 228. Thank you so much for the patience and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss any new videos and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!